evacuated tube solar collectors, just as ordinary collectors, capture solar radiation by means of a flat metallic absorber plate. However, in vacuum collectors, the plate is split into parallel strips. Each strip is attached to a metallic tube in good thermal contact with it. It can be a direct flow tube or a so-called heat pipe. We will focus on the latter option. Plate and tubes are manufactured with a selective coating to reduce infrared emission losses as much as possible. In addition, each tube plate pair is surrounded by a glass tube, which is then evacuated, hence the name of the collector. The vacuum makes conduction and convection losses negligible. Finally, the upper parts of the heat pipes are embedded inside a horizontal duct. The water to be heated is circulated through this duct. Let's see now how the heat pipe works. Its interior is also evacuated, and it only contains a small amount of a volatile fluid, such as an alcohol. In the absence of solar radiation, the plate and tube temperatures are low, and the fluid lies at the bottom of the tube in liquid state. But if the sun shines, the plate transfers heat to the tube. Most of the heat is used to vaporize the fluid, that is, it is latent heat. The vapor rises by natural convection and reaches the top of the tube, where a bulge acts as a condenser. As we saw before, water at relatively low temperature circulates outside the bulge. Therefore, the fluid transfers its latent heat to the water and condenses. The bulge is intended to increase the heat transfer surface, so thermal exchange is more efficient. Upon condensation, the drops of fluid slide down the tube. Later, they will rise again, uploading new amounts of vaporization heat.